don't know how many of you guys um have seen this commercial. Have y'all seen this? Get out of here. <laughs> she pull up in the Cadillac. Okay, so, let me let me do it. this. So you let me, let me do this that, and, um, and shut this down Google before I get in trouble. Um, from YouTube, so I don't want to um, violate anything because I got enough violations. And, ugh, whatever. Anyway, good morning, good afternoon, family. Welcome. To the mental house. And that's. It's crazy out here y'all. Um, my brother Gat Turner said. The hood's a graveyard. A straight up cemetery. Full of walking corpses. That talk obituaries. That's what it is. That's what it is. Everybody got the road to freedom. But nobody has got us there. We can keep spinning our. Wheels. In the dirt, thinking everybody got away. You can get ripped off by Umar Johnson, Brother Polite. Uh, uh, who else you donate money to? To 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 Tariq Nasheed. Uh, those are just straight narcissists, and so they're the ones that come to my mind right off the bat. Um, extreme narcissistic uh, people. Uh, but what I'm here to say, in my opinion. Because, you know, opinions is like rear ends. Everybody got one. It's to say, you know, the hardest thing for most Christians, Islamic people or whatever religion you, you um, worship, but I want to say specifically to Christians, that there is no uh, Jesus. Um, and, it, I mean, there is no rapture, and Jesus ain't coming back from you out into the sky. And I think that that is one of the hardest um, programmings to break, because you got some Christians that are trying to kill you over this issue. They're zealots. In fact, when you tell them, just like Pastor Ray Hagan said, there is no rapture, and Jesus is not coming back for your ass. So it's up to you. Jesus has no feet and arms but ours. And that's what the African proverb taught you before your mind was raped. God's got no feet and arms except us. God breathing into us his breath. And we became living souls, right? All right, so no feet and arms except ours. So when you look at this picture and you see people still... Uh, waiting for the rapture, you actually feel sorry for him because you're going to die believing the same thing your grandmama would believe in, the great grandmama and the grandmama, great grandmama, and ain't man Jesus came back for us yet. <laughs> I mean, duh. And we love the Lord so much and the most religious people. You think Jesus let all this shit happen to us? He don't even care. That means Jesus don't even care and he letting the white man stay on top and reap all his benefit, not just in material things. So because some people say, ah, some people so zealotly, they'll go, oh, we don't care about religious things. But I'm talking about even in health wise. What is what the scripture say? Um, God wants us to prosper even, even as our souls prosper. Come on up in here, somebody, y'all. Y'all know the word. Come on. So why are all these Christians, so-called Christians, all of us who believe in the Lord and love the Jesus, 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 uh, did it Kirk, take Kirk Franklin to tell you religion is dead? This shit ain't got no power. The only power that it got is y'all give it. That's why we're in the state that we're in. Get, wake up out of that craziness that you were taught by the slave master, first of all. And know that y'all only want breathing life into that thing. <laughs> Woo, you breathing life into it. They had these meters I already told y'all about. That you put your hands on it and you watch the, 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 the tip of the needle just move, 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 erratic, crazy, crazy. You can say words and see how, many, how much uh, whatever words stimulate you. 
or how much stimulation um, certain words and how powerful they are in terms of your um, circumference, right? So they got words on there like, Mom, Dad, sometimes the dad won't go down there, you know, ooh. Sometimes the mama won't go way down there. Sometimes the mama goes up here. You know, there's a meter that dictates. But when you say Jesus, that meter, woo, jump off the damn machine. Not for white people, but for all the black people. Black people, uh, when you talk about white folks, they, you, you, they, you can say stocks. They may go up that way. Bonds. And, uh, um, uh, uh, business may go that way. Uh, self-sufficiency, whatever, blah, 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 blah. All the attributes that you don't know that you haven't been taught because, you know, we haven't been taught the science of just the application of shit, not the science of the stuff. So what happens is we put too much credence in stuff that really don't got no, don't make no matter why everybody else who's created this infrastructure of madness got you following it. That's why I said we some Frankenstein monsters, but that's neither here nor there. I don't even want to get into that conversation because it's not really why I'm here. I really want to say this to you, and I know a lot of y'all going to get so mad. You're going to probably, woo, you're going to be so mad at me. You're going to, you know, and I welcome your comments because I love the dialogue. You know, I really do. But I think it's important that we have to understand as a, Black folk who follow so much religion and have no power that something got to change. And the first thing that has to change, in my opinion, in my humble opinion, people, is that we have to realize that we're a conquered people. Oh, I know you don't want to say it. <laughs> ah, you don't want to say it. Oh, my God. You're like, how dare you? Oh, no. We, I ain't conquered. Speak for yourself. No, you're conquered. Hello, you're conquered. Checkmate, nigga. Oops. Sorry. Checkmate in words. <laughs> We're conquered. And maybe once we wear those moccasins for a while, like the Africans say, walk, don't, don't judge me until you walk a mile in my shoe. So until you understand that, you won't have a different approach. You, you, you can't get a different approach to how you uh, perceive and what freedom means. Because you ain't going to never get it as long as you feel like you can do something. You can't do nothing. Don't you see? Look. Look at the, look at the great job. It, another, you can't do nothing but continuously fight. I should take that back. Let me make sure I make myself clear. All you can do is continuously fight. Right? But Michael Jackson had already told you he, he was very clear. And I, I I got two train of thoughts. And just like y'all do. You know how they have the devil sitting on one side and the, and the uh, good spirit sitting on the other side? Well, I believe in common sense. And I look at the history, what has happened. And we've been over here like almost, what, 500 years, something, whatever. Look. <laughs> okay, yeah, about 400 some years, whatever. Michael Jackson said it very eloquently to us. And once we understand that we are conquered people, not only did he tell you, all I want to say is that they don't really care about us. That's all of us. <laughs> Black and white, but that's all right. They don't get it. I don't care. They don't get it. Fine, it's they, mo they mothers and fathers that created the madness. So, you know, they don't, they not like my brothers. My brothers is the is the people that think like John Brown. Okay, those are my folk. Okay, or Viola Uso, and those are the people that are on my team, or I'm on their team, right? But there's another song Michael Jackson sang, and it's most the most profound that he that he ever sung to me. Uh. And I think that the, the the more we suck up on this song, the better off we'll be. And you know what that is? You can't win. You can't get out. Of it. You can't break out of the game. Don't you get it? You can't get out of the game. 
You can't get out of the game. So all these people that tell you they got the solution, you can't win. You can't win. You can't break even and you can't get out of the game. They go, the police going to keep shooting us because that's all part of the slave catcher. Okay? He done evolved. Our police department started, I think, in 1855. I think the Emancipation of Proclamation was signed in 1865. So my police department we had a 10-year involvement from this train of thought that we're going to capture people and beat them up and shoot them and torture them. What? Hey, I'm sorry, people. Let's think about it here. Let's use a little common sense. You can't win. You can't break out and you can't break out of the game. Okay? So now once you deal with that, deal with it. Then we're going to have a dialogue. Okay? Because ain't nobody got these kind of answers as long as somebody thinking they're going to help somebody get free. We got to take them all under consideration and none under consideration. Because to me, freedom first starts here and I know what it means for me but I'm not trying to inflict or project my thoughts on any of you guys I don't know what it, you know my my history tells me that every every day living here that I have to fight the white man for every little white every little crumb every little uh, everything things that white people don't have to do the things they take for granted for they don't even have to think about I gotta get up and know I gotta deal with this devil and the infrastructure that he set up whether it's the judicial system whether it's the uh, it doesn't even really matter whatever education system all of it gotta be burnt down re, if, re done over and it's not gonna happen you guys it's not going to happen. So, you can't win. <laughs> you can't breathe even and you can't get out of the game. Oh! All right. Just think about it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think if you think I'm old or something or if I'm just tripping. Because you know it's the mental house. And I think we get to get all our mental stuff off right here. Let me know what y'all think, please. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.